Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to open two boxes. We are going to open a box from Black Scout Survival and one from an Eastern Bloc company. First thing we are going to open is a Black Scout Survival Watch Compass. I've had my eye on this for a little while now, and the idea is, is that I need a compass that goes on my watch strap. Uh, the watch I'm wearing is a Citizen EcoDrive dive watch, which is a great watch. Runs on solar power. It has capacitors and not batteries in it, so it never needs batteries replaced. I know a guy who's been wearing his for 25 plus years without ever needing to charge it or do anything to it. Oh, cool. Also inside the box, we have our Black Scout Survival postcard thing mindset lifestyle preparedness the goal is to equip and educate a more prepared citizen i like that idea education is something that nobody can take away from you it's the lightest thing in the world education ah look at this survival bivy bag i do not want to unfold this thing because once you unfold this thing they never refold but i bet it's a giant mylar space blanket Reflective on the inside and ultra light. Maybe we'll unfold this thing in another video, but this is going to go on my dirt bike. Super small, should go in the tool bag on my dirt bike and it'll live there probably forever. Item number two inside the bag. Oh man, he sent me a knife. Check this out. This is badass. Oh no, now I'm gonna have to learn a whole new knife. Whoa, okay, that's tight. Liner lock, so what that means is that there is a transfer bar in here. There you go, that way. Transfer bar that pushes down. That, it pushes down and that releases the blade. So, folding knife closes. This thing on the back allows you to open it and then assist open it with the rest of your hand by flipping it open. The liner lock is in such a position that you can push it with your right thumb to close your knife and then stow it. That's gonna go into direct competition with my other knife, of which I have about seven of these. These are the Ontario Knife Company Rat One Folding Knife, which is probably my favorite folding knife out there currently. But what you'll notice is Black Scout Survival is very smart. Similar in size, similar in shape, probably just a little bit more badass and hardcore. Ah, beautiful. D2, it says on the side of the blade, that should refer to D2 tool steel, if I am not mistaken. And it will ride in your pocket on this clip. That's so that your knife always ends up in the same spot and you can find it without looking at it in the dark and everything else. If you work for a living, you tend to get your knife out of your pocket all the time to open things, packages, whatnot. Ah, it always takes a little bit to figure out how to operate a new knife, new feeling, new sensation, but that is an awesome blade shape right there. It has a good sweep to it, a good belly, and I like this chop tip here, which is a little bit different from other things, but, I like quite a bit. That means it's gonna function very well for doing everyday tasks and it has a curve to the blade which, which allows you to sweep through things very well. Blade shape is one of those things that people have been playing with and will continue to play with for all of human history. Blade shape determines what a knife is used for, how it is used and how useful it is. And so people play with these blade shapes forever, like literally forever. And there'll be a new blade shape next year and Every person who designs a knife has a slightly different thing in mind for that knife, what they want it to do. I like stuff from Black Scout Survival because he is based on preparedness and generally living a good quality of life and lots of education. So anything that this guy designs, I tend to think is probably gonna be very, very, very well thought out. The same way that I think about training, this guy thinks about things like blade shape. I assume that this will probably be one of the best knives I ever own. Rad. Third thing that we're opening that was in that bag, I had just ordered this. He threw in other stuff into there, like a good, kind, awesome dude. A, I love Altoids tins that are all sexy because 
If you're into things like preparedness, small metal tins are something that you need a lot of for things like fire kits inside the box. This guy's design is absolutely fantastic. Super cool. And that's what we are trying to get at right here. This is a compass, field watch band compass, titanium. Fits 20 to 22 millimeter NATO watch bands. So I'm gonna have to get a NATO watch band for this watch. Depth rated to 100 meters, 300 feet. Good, well, I'm not diving deeper than 100 meters anyway. That's crazy. Unscrew bezel ring by inserting a small pin or paper clip into dimples on the bezel ring. That is so you could actually change the magnetic center and keep the titanium body of this. This thing is super cool. So I had another one of these from a different company. So that is going to, can you see the back of that? There. There is a strap slide there and a 22 millimeter strap is gonna fit in there and then it's gonna sit on top of my wrist. The idea with this is that you always have it with you because you always have your watch. You always know what time it is and you always know what direction you're going. I bought another one from Sunto and I used to put it on my wrist when I would dirt bike when you're out in the desert and you're doing a bunch of stuff kind of get a little confusing on which direction you're facing, whether you're facing south or southeast. But the other one shattered. And it's not that the compass broke, it's that the strap holder itself just snapped off. So the, the compass is still good and it's sitting in a bag for my dirt bike stuff, but it no longer sits on your wrist. I bought this one because it's titanium and it should last longer than I live. And that's what we're always looking for in something, a piece of equipment that's gonna do its job and is going to continue to last forever. It is more expensive than the Sunto Compass, but if it doesn't break and I don't have to replace it, then it's worth it. Yeah, and it will not fit on my rubber dive strap, so I'm gonna have to get the NATO strap. No problem, it said that on the website. It's just that the NATO strap hasn't showed up yet. And as usual, I love the cool metal packaging. Good design, good packaging. Every time you see something like that, you know somebody put a lot of effort, time, and thought into their product. This is our next box, and it's got a bunch of Cyrillic stamps on it. I ordered this from a surplus company. Next item, this big box. I ordered this about six months ago from a company that deals in Eastern Bloc military surplus stuff. The problem that I have is that I'm big. I have overly long arms, like a 37 inch sleeve. So finding stuff that fits is a problem, even with brand new manufacturer stuff. I found this company and they have all the sizes, even down to height. They had like seven different sizes of height. So after converting my height and sleeve length into centimeters, I set an order for this product and they said it would probably take several months to get here. I ordered this back when it was three feet of snow. It's now 95 degrees out here. So this is gonna be for the upcoming season of horseback riding. I'm really enjoying opening things already with this new knife. And I paid extra to get the dope fur rough that goes with it. This is some kind of navy coat, I believe. Navy pea coat. And let's see if it actually fits. Ah, a little bit tight. A little bit short on the sleeve. Yeah, even with all the sizing, it's a little bit small, but it's supposed to be. So what we did, we bought this jacket in order to intentionally cut it apart. And we're gonna trim off the bottom below the knee and we're gonna add it to the sleeve for horseback riding. And we're gonna make ourselves a horseback riding jacket. We'll probably change out the buttons because these are some kind of Eastern Bloc military button. Even though I ordered a coat for somebody who's 6'3", the sleeves are still this short, but I want the sleeves to be really, really long so that when you're riding a horse, it comes down over the top of your hand. And I do this to jackets all the time because nothing I ever buy fits because my arms are extremely long. But in general, awesome coat, under panels in the arms, pockets in the front, and we are going to cut it apart and turn it into what we want it to be. Because that's what you have to do if nobody makes what you are looking for. 
You have to take something and then modify it. This is an old idea that we used to do uh, in the circus world. You find something secondhand and then you modify it into what you need it to be, but it still has the flavor of that original thing. We have a jacket, we have a compass, we have an absolutely awesome new knife. It sits differently in my pocket than the other one. I'm gonna have to retrain myself to pull my knife out a different way. This one hangs blade down. This one hangs blade up. So that's just a slight difference. That's fine. We'll be able to figure it out in no time, but that is truly awesome. I did not expect that to be in the box. Thank you very much to Black Scout Survival. I did not expect that knife to be in the box when I ordered that compass or the survival bivy, but both of those things are gonna go dedicated into my adventure kit. You do not need to plan adventures on the other side of the world. You can just go anywhere you've never been and do something you've never done. And that could even be just riding a motorcycle down a road you've never been. Go find a town that's 20 miles away from where you live, ride to it, look at every street there, map it in your brain, read the history of it, and then ride back and then do it to every town in your state. And eventually you'll learn a bunch of stuff on accident and you'll have fun on accident. The point of fitness is so that you can go out and live your life and do things that are interesting.